The Spoken Impact Project, or SIP, examines the effect of audio and visual feedback on vocalizations in low-functioning children with autistic spectrum disorder by providing them with additional means of understanding and exploring their voice. In this video, we will present the different forms of audio and visual feedback as a companion to our paper in the Proceedings of the CHI 2009 Conference. The visual feedback is directly related to the amount of external noise detected by the computer system. For example, a circle on the screen could change in diameter as sound, particularly voice, grows louder. The visual feedback consists of one of three possible types of graphical objects. Found images, like a cartoon character, circular or spherical shapes, and lines. In this video, we will be using a cartoon lion and sheep as found images. However, any image can easily be used. These objects can be presented in one of four types of motion metaphors. Falling. Objects move downward as if drawn by gravity. Spinning. Objects move in a circular or spiral pattern. Flashing. Objects appear and disappear quickly. And stationary. Objects stay in a fixed location. Among the four categories, approximately 12 unique motion or pattern combinations were created. Most can function with any type of graphical object, circle, found image, etc. SIP provided two categories of audio feedback based on the sound produced. One to one, sounds are directly related to sound produced by the subject, such as an echo or pitch shift. For example, <laughs> Reward sounds, both vocalization of subject and audio feedback, occurs simultaneously. Reward sounds are produced upon completion of subject's sound. Duration of reward sound was related to duration of sound produced. In other words, longer sound made by subject resulted in longer reward. For example, Though this example is musical, sound could also be from found audio, such as movie or TV show. There were five forms of audio feedback available that could be mixed with any visual feedback permutation. In this example, we use a falling metaphor which simulates fireworks with sphere objects. The explosion distance is related to the volume. Color and location change with each utterance, and number of particles varied due to the duration of vocalization by subject. In addition, there is one-to-one -one feedback in the form of pitch-shifted audio. The Wizard of Oz follow-up study, based on SIP, was geared towards teaching specific skills. It utilized and combined existing forms of visual feedback with audio feedback. This system orally prompted subjects with a word in the form of the phrase, say, word. Once the prompt was completed, the computer provided visual feedback, spinning spiral of dots, and audio feedback, echo. For example, say, bye bye. If the prompted response was deemed close enough, the researcher directed the system to provide an auditory and visual reward. Great job! Otherwise, the researcher would prompt the target word again. Say, bye-bye. Great job! We would like to thank our collaborators, Laura de Thorne and Mary Kelsey Coletto, as well as all of our participants and their families. During this video, no footage or audio from actual subjects was used per confidentiality agreement with participants. For more information on SIP, please refer to our paper, Creating a Spoken Impact, Encouraging Vocalization Through Audio-Visual Feedback in Children with ASD, found in the Proceedings of CHI 2009.